know that I talked to Lappy last season. He was saying you're one of the most improved. Where do you think you took the biggest strides? Uh, I think uh, my biggest strides were took in my condition this summer. I know it's it's been like that um, for the last couple of years, but um, Lappy made sure to, to put it in my head that it was a priority, and um, he wants me to take uh, steps forward in that, and uh, that's what I tried to uh, improve though on the most this summer. Did you lose weight or gain strain? Like what, what, where did you see the gains? Yeah, I'm uh, down to like uh, 195 right now, 196, kind of hovering in that area right now, and um, still trying to keep that corner weight on my, uh, on my frame, but um, trying to not lose that part of my game, but um, still trying to, trying to lose weight and uh, stay low on the, the body fat scale. It's no secret that the Flyers are in rebuilding mode and youth movement and so forth. That's sort of like for all the young players, I would think, would sort of open the door a little bit and, and, and raise the level of excitement, right? For sure. Um, uh, obviously, like you said, it's uh, no secret. Um, we're trying to we're trying to rebuild and, and push young guys in, and um, hopefully, I get the the opportunity, keep showing what I got, and uh, hopefully, I get the opportunity to. to to do that. A couple of years ago, during that uh, the weird pandemic year when you got to play in the AHL and you really impressed there, um, last season, I guess, was it frustrating when maybe it didn't click down there as easily as it did the first time when you were younger? 100%. Um, I think that would be frustrating for anybody. Um, I thought the coaching staff and my teammates did a really good job at having my back and making sure my confidence didn't go uh, completely zero. But uh, on a personal standpoint, it was it was tough uh, on the on the mental health and the, the confidence side of uh, things. But um, trying to bounce back this year and, and come back uh, even stronger. Anyone specific that you kind of relied on through those times where you were maybe fighting the confidence? Yeah, well, um, I wouldn't say relied on anybody. Everybody everybody kind of had my back. That's a uh, part of being uh, part of the, the, the hockey team. Um, everybody kind of had my back. I had uh, young guys had my back like Desi and Forey and uh, older guys like Willie and Cal, and uh, even coaching staff like Rouse and uh, Lappy, they all they were all there for me. They all made sure to that I knew to keep my head up and, and keep pushing forward. Speaking of Riley, what's been your relationship with him, and what's it like having him head uh, player development now? Rouse has, been, uh, Rouse has been there for me since uh, since I met him from uh, last year, two years ago. Um, he's, he's a great guy. Um, he kind of had that, he brings that joking uh, mentality to the room where he kind of keeps the guys light and uh, keeps that kind of comedic uh, comedic presence there. But um, <clears throat> he's kind of had to dial in now since he's he's taken over that head development guy role. So um, he's been good. He's been real good. We were just talking to Kara. She was saying it's so important when you're in like a development camp not to worry about like expectations, and he's been good at that. How have you felt him kind of change the tenor of this camp? For sure, um, it's it's definitely I feel like a, a way more intense intense camp um, than it was last year for Dev Camp at least. Um, uh, he's he's kind of made sure the boys are busy all day, keeping us busy, even after practice. We're we're always out doing something um, as a, as a group, as a team, team bonding stuff. And um, he's he's done a really good job. I feel like keeping the boys busy and and not letting us get bored. You're good friends with Tyson Forster. Was it nice to see him get that chance last year? And does oh, that for push sure. you even more? For sure, um, watching him score against Freddie Anderson, Mark Andre Fleury, those are those are two big names, and the, the goalie side of things. And watching him being able to do that kind of, I'm happy for him, but it also kind of gets me fired up and kind of wants me getting my shot now. So yeah. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but um, growing up, who were some of your role models in hockey that gave you inspiration? Um, I had a, a lot of role models growing up, um, and lucky enough, I'm 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 out here with Stewie. And he's he was kind of a guy like I watched a lot growing up. Him, Simmer, and all those like Subban, kind of those guys, um, same skin color as me, going through the same battle as me, and growing up almost in the same area as me at the same time. So it was all there's those things I can relate to and uh, kind of connect to. And lucky enough, I, I have Stewie out there with me. Do you, do you feel like the door is opening wider? I mean, for the for the whole movement that's going across the board. For sure. Um, hopefully, it hopefully it keeps opening even wider. <clears throat> Uh, that was had he had me worried there for a bit. It took him a while, but um, uh, yeah, he had me worried for a bit, but uh, he got it done. Um, I wasn't shocked. Uh, I'm, I was super happy for him. It's my little brother, and watching my mom, both her boys get drafted is is definitely something special, and uh, I'll never forget that for sure. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks,